In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, good people of God, and welcome to today's edition of Catholic Meditation with me, Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Saturday, the 27th of August, 2022. It is Saturday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time, Church Year C. Today is the feast day of St. Monica. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. O God, who consoled the sorrowful and who mercifully accepted the motherly tears of St. Monica for the conversion of her son Augustine, Grant us, through the intercession of them both, that we may bitterly regret our sins and find the grace of your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 1. Verses 26 to 31. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 33. The response to the psalm is, Blessed the people the Lord has chosen as his heritage. The gospel is taken from St. Matthew, chapter 25, verses 14 to 30. I read from the first reading. Consider your call, brethren. Not many of you were wise according to the flesh. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to bring to nothing things that are, so that no flesh might boast in the presence of God. He is the source of your life in Christ Jesus, whom God made our wisdom, our righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Therefore, as it is written, let him who boasts, boast of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The theme for today's meditation is Make yourself a fool in the eyes of the world that you may become wise for God. Make yourself a fool in the eyes of the world that you may become wise for God. Dear friends in Christ, In the first reading we just listened to a while ago, St. Paul, writing to the Corinthians in his first letter to them, makes them understand that God's choices always surprise people. Because by every human judgment and standard, what we think is foolish, that is what God chooses. In the words of St. Paul, it is to shame the wise that God chose what is foolish in the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not, to shame things that are. What does St. Paul mean? One of such foolishness is the foolishness of the cross. Because by every human standard, by every human judgment, the cross is an object of misfortune and shame. It is an object of humiliation and disgrace. But it is that foolishness, according to human thinking, 
that God chooses and from it, he brings us great redemption. So the foolishness of the world is the wisdom of God. Now, does it mean that God loves foolishness and foolish people? Not at all. God is wise and will never have anything to do with foolishness. In fact, wisdom is one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Jesus himself often blasted the Pharisees, calling them hypocrites, fools, and blind guides. How then should we understand this text? St. Paul uses the word foolishness in a figurative way. In fact, it is we of the world who see it as foolish, but it is wisdom in God's eyes. So the foolishness St. Paul talks about is in the thinking of the world. What the world sees as foolishness, God sees it as wisdom. Let us explain. After all, when we see those who forgive others, who hurt them, don't we see them as fools? We think they are cheap and crazy. They are truly foolish in the eyes of the world. Man go do you bad and you leave them, so they ask. Why not give it back to teach them a lesson? We even coach them, if Nami and no food leave them. But when they forgive and let go, we think they are foolish. But that action of theirs is wise in God's sight. Now you understand what St. Paul means and the difference. What the world thinks is foolish, according to human thinking, is wisdom for God. And that explains why the theme for today's meditation says, we should make ourselves fools in the eyes of the world that we may become wise for God. Dear friends, if your actions in God does not make the world think you are a fool, then you are not wise for God. The things you do, that neighbor who keeps hurting you and you keep loving them, the world will think you are foolish. Why love a person who keeps hating you? You forgive someone who hurts you, the world will think you are foolish. Yes, beloved, till we become fools for Christ. Fools in the eyes of the world, then do we become wise for God. This is what St. Paul means. The fools are those who go on loving all, even their enemies who hurt them. These are those whom God chooses and makes good use of. The world thinks they are fools, but for God, they are the wise. Wise in the thinking of the world. Look at this. The world thinks that they are fools, but God knows they are wise. But if you want to be wise in the thinking of the world, to act in the ways of the world, to hate those who hate you, the world will think you are wise. To give it back to those who hurt you, the world will think you are wise, but truly, you are foolish in God's sight. God will see you as a fool. So this is the contradiction and the opposite. That when the world thinks we are fools because we do things of God, then we become wise for God. And because the world thinks we are fools, God chooses those foolish things, those foolish people, according to the eyes of the world, and makes good use of them. Beloved of God, the fools for God are those who are humble, who see themselves as nothing. Go back to the beginning of the letter St. Paul writes to the Corinthians. Consider your call, brethren, he tells them. Not many of you were wise according to the flesh, but not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth, but God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. By this, St. Paul means that who we are and what we are is thanks to God. God has made us who we are. So do you have any reason to boast and to beat your breast? Who you are is thanks to God. The humble see all they have as coming from God. Their achievements are thanks to God, not of their making. 
For them, their motto is, we thank God. They never boast or beat their breast. They boast in the Lord, if at all they should boast. They boast in Him for what He does through them. These are those St. Paul describes as the weak and the foolish. Because in the eyes of the world, those who are, have everything will beat their breast and they will think everybody should focus on them. They are the proud. The world thinks that, oh, they are the great. But the truly wise in God's eyes are the humble, who see themselves as nothing, who see their achievements as nothing, but point back to God for everything that they have and who they are. The wise and strong and the mighty are the proud. They are full of themselves and think they know it all. In the eyes of the world, they are wise, but for God, they are fools. In fact, anything they have or are, according to them, is by their making. You always hear them praise themselves. Look at certain examples. The Blessed Virgin Mary. Who was she? A nobody in the eyes of the world. A humble woman. Not even known, not even heard. But because in the eyes of the world she was stupid or a nobody, God saw in her someone whom he could use. Who was David before God made him the king? The last and smallest of all the children of Jesse. And God made him the person that he was. Who were the Israelites before God chose them among all the nations that were and made them his people? Who was Saul before God made him the king? So you see, beloved, it is God who makes us who we are. And till we make ourselves nothing, then he will make us something. Till the world thinks that we are fools and nothing and nobodies because of our humility, because of our dedication to serve God, because of our willingness to keep his commandments, then God uses what the world thinks is foolish to shame the strong. Those who think they know it all, who think if there is anything, it should be them. No, God never makes use of the proud. Rather, he makes use of the humble. Those who even see themselves as nothing, who do not even count themselves worthy. If they were to number persons, they even go behind because they think they are not worthy. Those are the persons whom God chooses. Do you want God to make use of you like Mary? Do you want God to make use of you like David? Do you want God to choose you and make good use of you? Then, in the eyes of the world, make yourself a nobody. Make yourself simple and humble, and you will be wise and God will use you. But if you are too full of yourself and too boastful of yourself in the eyes of the world, you will be great. But in the eyes of God, you will be a fool. Pray therefore, beloved. Let us pray for the gift that God will give us that grace that we may become fools for him. Fools because the world thinks we are fools, but truly in his sight we are wise. Monica, who is the mother of St. Augustine, was born in the year 311 into a Christian family in Northern Africa. Married to a non-Christian with whom she had four children, the oldest of them being Augustine. Thanks to her prayers and influence, her husband received baptism. But it will be much later on, after great perseverance and ongoing prayer, that Augustine would also embrace Christianity. She died at Ostia in Italy in the year 387, her mission having been accomplished, her husband converted, and her eldest son, Augustine, converted. Through her intercession, may we become fools in the eyes of the world, but wise in the eyes of God. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the name Monica. God bless you and happy weekend. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Let the world think that you are a fool because of the things you do for God. But for God, you will be wise 
I will choose and use you.